controversial opinions that I have part two. My child will not have any type of social media until they are at least teenagers. I'm talking about their own personal account. I did not have a cell phone until I was probably about 16 years old and I don't know what I would have done if I had Instagram as an adolescent. I think that being on social media at a young age can also cause insecurities, self-hatred. I know that you cannot shelter your kids from everything in this world, but I think that there is a difference between sheltering them and protecting them. Now, I did not have social media until I was probably about 15 or 16 years old, and I think that that age is a little bit better, but I think that when you're starting at like eight years old, which I see children with like TikToks and Instagrams at eight years old, I think that's too young. I will not be giving my children allowance. I think that if they live in a house, it is really important for them to learn teamwork. Living in a house with other people, there are natural tasks required. I don't think that they should get paid to do a job that they should already be doing. Now, if they want to do extra chores around the house that are not in the day-to-day -to, -day to make extra money, I'm fine with that. Like if they want to go vacuum my car out, fine. I'll give them 10 bucks for that. That's for paying them to do dishes or cleaning their own room, not gonna happen. This one kind of goes hand in hand with the last one, but when my kids are old enough to drive, I think that it is totally fair to not buy them their car outright, but to meet them halfway. For example, if they have a job and they put in $2,000, I will also put in $2,000. I think that it teaches kids responsibility and to work for something that they want. I kind of already did a video about this yesterday. I will not be sending my kids over for a sleepover unless it is at my house. I have too many friends that have told me horror stories about something that's happened to them at sleepovers and I'm just not willing to put my kid in that situation. This one has nothing to do with being a mom, I just think it's weird. I think that it is so weird that as a society we have started making criminals into victims. I just don't understand why we have people like Jeffrey Dahmer who is all of a sudden just being looked at as someone who's just super misunderstood and that's why he essayed and unalived and ate people. Don't get me wrong, I don't think it's wrong to understand the why. At the end of the day, you did terrible things to people. I don't have empathy for the consequences of your actions. People make choices out of trauma all of the time. You can either make good choices or you can make bad choices. We've all been through trauma. What do you guys think?